Hello once again from Tiny House Off Grid Resources. Today we're going to be making a small water harvesting system. This is perfect for those people who haven't got the money or haven't yet got round to putting gutterings on their tiny house, house truck or cabin and need some drinking water straight away. So we're going to start off with a 72 litre rubbish bin. They also come in 48 litre and 100 litre. Um, this is the most common size. I picked this up from the local hardware store. This is a 72 litre rubbish bin, $20. By turning the lid upside down, we're going to collect water and put a hole in the middle to pass that through into the storage. And then we're going to put a tap in the bottom so we can draw the water off. So the first thing we're going to do is modify the lid so that it can be attached. We're going to do that by cutting out these two clips here and that will allow these old clips to come over and secure the lid once again. So we'll hit that with the hacksaw you will need something to drill holes you may need a little bit of sealant. Because it's black, you won't be able to mark out using a pen or a pencil. So I'm using a sharp screwdriver to make my marks. Sharp knife won't go astray either. And don't forget the golden rule, keep your hands behind the tool. Never work like this, never cut towards your hands. Always be very, very careful with sharp knives. Okay, so this is what we're trying to achieve. We're putting a cutout on both sides. So that the old, so that the old clips will secure the lid on. The next thing we have to do is get this two-dollar watering can rose, and we're going to cut a hole the same diameter as the inside of this okay not the outside we don't want it to fall straight through There we go. So the watering can rose is now sitting like that. You may choose to use some silicon to uh, make it more permanent. I'll probably do that later so I don't make a mess. But that's going to allow the water into the reservoir. The next thing we have to do, this tank fitting, we're going to drill a 20 millimeter hole in the bottom here so that that can go in and then we can attach a tap. The tap was only $8 from the hardware store. A little plastic fitting. I didn't actually check the price, but quite often things like this cost more than brass, which is ridiculous. So, making sure you've got enough room for the flange on the inside so that it's not part of the curve, you need a flat area to attach this so that it will seal. Approximate where it's going to go and make the hole. It 
doesn't need to be done with an electric drill. If you're careful, you could do it with a knife, or you could even heat up a piece of metal of the right diameter and on the stove, push that through the plastic, being careful not to breathe the fumes. But there we go, that's going to, this, oh, this can be cut off shorter if it needs to be. Actually, I'm going to do that because these are a standard plumbing part. If I cut off the excess, it'll give me a little something to use for other jobs, just in case I need it. That can go in the useful box for later. So there we go. So there we go. That's shortened. Poke that through the hole. Make sure there's a rubber washer on both sides to help with the ceiling. Put the nut on. And tighten this up good and tight because when this thing's full of rainwater, being a 72 litre bucket, you're going to have 72 kilograms in here. That's the weight of a large child. We probably use some thread tape on here. But I'm just giving this a dry assembly because I'd like this to be a five minute water harvesting project. Here we go. There's your bucket, you tap on the bottom, we're emptying it. There's the lid firmly in place. Now of course you want something to be able to get a bucket underneath it. So we need to stand it on something. You can stand it on bricks. You can stand it on a table, you can make a little wooden platform for it, but now you can harvest rainwater, draw it off the bottom. Easy as that. Rainwater harvesting in five minutes flat. So there we go. That's another five minute project from Tiny House Off Grid Resources. We've got a 72 litre rain barrel in five minutes for $40. If you found the video useful, please hit the like button down below. If it's the kind of thing you'd like to see more of, why not subscribe to the channel? We'll see you next time.